What's going on everybody? This is Anthony with July's Aquatics and Gardening and welcome back to another video. Uh, in today's video, I am going to be doing an experiment that's in response to uh, the video that I made a few weeks ago about uh, bonides, turn the label around, about bonides rooting powder. Uh, so in that video, I went over how to use this rooting powder and one of the comments that I got from a subscriber was asking about dissolving the powder into water and trying to root cuttings in that liquid um, to see if it would speed up the process. And that's something that I honestly never thought about before. So I tried it. And um, I found out that number one, this powder does not dissolve in water. So this is a glass, forgive how dirty it is, of water with the bonide rooting powder in it. And if you, <laughs> with the bonide rooting powder in it, and if you look, you see all of that powder is at the bottom. And this has been sitting in here for about two weeks now. Um, so what I did was I got, I think about a gallon of water and I just threw without measuring um, some of the rooting powder into the water stirred it up vigorously to see if it would dissolve the water actually stays cloudy for quite a bit of time um, then I stuck some cuttings into it and um, left it in there for about a week I put the cuttings into this some boxwood cuttings I put them into this um, mixture and I put it next to my kitchen window and that is a south facing exposure and I put it right up against the window. Also, my tea kettle is right beside that window and we boil water in that tea kettle sometimes twice, three times for the day. So there's a lot of humidity in that um, part of the kitchen and what ended up happening on a couple of the cuttings of boxwood is that they bloomed. I've never seen boxwood bloom before I don't think the fragrance at first was very sweet now it's kind of stinky uh, so that to me I don't know if it was the powder substance or if it was because of the amount of humidity and light it was getting but that's what happened there so eventually what I did after a week I took them out of this and I just put them into plain old water. And it's been sitting in this jar of water for quite some time. I didn't put any rooting hormone in this. And if I stir it up, it's not as cloudy, but you can see uh, that some of the rooting hormone made it into that water. So I said, okay, I don't know where to go from here. I kind of wanted to see if that experiment would work and I don't know and I don't think it's gonna be successful or I don't think it would have done anything again simply because the rooting powder did not dissolve in the water but a few days later I went to Home Depot and I found uh, Bonides Garden Rich Root and Grow Root Stimulator and Plant Starter this is a concentrate it is in liquid form and I said, this is probably the solution to that problem of trying to start cuttings in water or liquid instead of um, with the rooting powder. So I did some reading up on it and pretty much nothing on the label says it's for rooting cuttings. I'm only experimenting with it. I've never used this product before, so we're going to find out together how it works. Uh, what it says it's good for, and it does have that same IBA um, indole-3-butyric acid active ingredient that the powder has. That's the same active ingredient in the concentrate here. It says it's for transplanting. Uh, C, it's for transplanting established plants. You can use it to water house plants and for seed germination. Um, it's supposed to reduce plant shock when transplanting and help plants establish um, a vigorous, stronger root system. Uh, the dilution rate is three and a half tablespoons per gallon of water. Uh, so I have a gallon of water in my watering can here. 
and you're supposed to shake it well, dissolve it in the water, and then uh, water your plants with it. So what I'm going to do is mix up a gallon of it and stick my cuttings in there to see what's going to end up happening. So, I am going to attempt to root uh, some boxwood cuttings and I have a magnolia tree, a couple of cuttings. Um, so we're going to see how this works. Boxwood is some of the hardest um, plant material to root um, because they take up to six weeks to produce baby roots based on what I've read online. So they say it's best to start with fresh cuttings. So I have some fresh cuttings here um, that have just again been sitting in water that was previously in the um, rooting hormone mixture. And I have some tougher stems here. So what I'm going to do is see if there's a difference between the fresh cut stems versus the um, woodier stems. And also for the magnolia, I have a piece of fresh growth and I have a cutting of woody growth. So I'm going to see if there's any difference, if we have any success, or if this is going to be a complete failure. So let's mix up the solution and root our cuttings. So I'm going to shake this well. Same disclaimer with the other one. If I were you, I wouldn't stick my nose in it. It seems like there's some type of acidic component. I just didn't have to stick your nose in it and I stuck my nose in it. Um, so three and a half tablespoons per gallon of water. One, can you see? It's kind of like a blue liquid. I don't know how well you can see that. All right, so it's like a bluish color, greenish color liquid. Two. Three and a half. Now I would strongly suggest, I have mixing tools, uh, measuring spoons and measuring cups that I keep specifically in the garage for my gardening purposes. I would not suggest you using your everyday house um, measuring sticks, spoons, cups for these types of experiments. So now, I'm definitely not going to need the entire gallon. All right, I think I'm just going to start with about an inch, inch and a half of water for the bigger cuttings. Um, so with the fresh, soft growth, I am going to treat this like a, a bouquet, if you will, and I'm going to um, cut it fresh, like a fresh cut flower. I'm going to cut it fresh on an angle and um, stick it into the hormone. Giving these a fresh cut and I'm cutting it, cutting them all on an angle. Hopefully you can see that. And sticking them in there. So I'm going to try to find a way to get these guys to stand up straight, but I am going to add a little bit more water in. So there, there it is, there. All right, now I'm going to take my fresh cuttings here. I'm going to dump out this water. Um, all right, yeah, I, I am going to just snip the ends here to give it a fresh cut. All right, so I just remembered that the other day I was eating um, some oranges or tangerines, one of the two. And so I took the seeds out and... And so I took the seeds out and I planted two containers, two terracotta pots, and I had them on the grow lights 
um, with the seeds and I haven't seen any germination yet. So these have been in here for about two weeks and as you can see, there is nothing going on. So I thought I'll leave one just as it is and I will water in this guy with the uh, hormone to see if it aids in the germination of the seed or what happens or if anything at all. So I'm just pouring water over it like I normally would until the water runs out the bottom. And we'll see together if this makes any difference. I also have a dormant uh, hardy pomegranate. I think the brand is or the variety is pomegranate wonderful. I planted this up about uh, a week after the orange seeds and again this is dormant I've never grown one of these before but um, I think these, this has been you know under grow lights for about two weeks and if, again nothing is happening so I am going to pour some of this uh, water over it as well to see if there is any difference so again, just going to water this guy in with this. Now if you've ever used this stuff before, um, comment down below and let me know what your um, experience has been with it. Has it been successful? Has it been a total failure? Did it kill your plants? Did it help your plants grow? Have you ever seen this stuff before? Um, what have you? This is again a total experiment it is my first time ever using it so we're gonna find out together uh, what the results are I'm going to give this about six weeks um, to see if I see any roots I'm gonna change out the water about once a week over the next six weeks again just so we don't get any fungus issues or any problems like that and I will be sure to let you know exactly what happens do we have success or do we have total and utter failure so one thing to note when using the rooting powder it does say that you should keep the cuttings humid in order to have the best chances at, at success and what I generally do with these is, is just mist the plants and the soil to keep the humidity levels high um, and I normally put them outside in the shady pot spot in the garden. Since it's still winter and since it's still cold outside, I'm going to put them back exactly where they were. These bigger cuttings were right by the south facing window and they were right by my tea kettle, which produces a lot of humidity again. The smaller ones were actually about three feet back from the window by my stove. That's a lot of dry heat. So I'm going to put those back exactly where they were and we're going to see the difference. Um, these cuttings, I had them under grow lights in the living room. Um, that window is east facing and it gets a pretty good block of morning sun and then I keep it under the grow lights for about 10 or 11 hours. So I'm going to put everything back where it was and again we're going to find out together what the results are. Thanks for watching the video guys. Uh, if you didn't see again the video on how to use the rooting hormone powder, I'll link it in the cards up above and in the description box below. Make sure you again let me know in the comments if you ever had an experience with this product and if you're planning to use it, let me know what you're going to root in there and tag me on social media so that we can follow the progress together. Thanks for the support as always guys. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and we will see you in the next one. Cross your fingers and let's hope that this is a roaring success. Uh, remember in all things, give thanks and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.